Today, we're going to be balancing the equation of iron 2 sulfide, which is FES, plus hydrochloric acid, which is HCl, and that will produce uh, iron 2 chloride, which is FeCl2, plus hydrogen sulfide, H2S. I already wrote out our little balancing chart here and the elements that I see on both the left and the right side. So all we have to do is just write how many we have starting off, and then we will get to balancing. Let's start with the left-hand side. For the iron, aka the Fe, I don't see any subscripts here, so that means that I have one iron. For the sulfur, same thing goes. I don't see any subscripts, so that means that I have one. The same thing for the hydrogen, and the same thing for the chlorine. I don't see any subscripts, so one hydrogen and one chlorine. So I could just write both of those right here. So one's all around for the reactants. And then for the products, I have one iron. There was no subscript, right? But now for the chlorine, it's going to change. For the Cl, I see that I have a 2 here. So I'm starting off with two chlorines. So that goes on the bottom. For the hydrogen, I see that I have a 2 next door. So that means that I have two hydrogens. And then for the sulfur, I don't see any number next door. So that means that there's a 1. And now we're ready to balance. Seems easy enough that we can balance the hydrogen. Always balance one element at a time. So in this case, we always balance by multiplying. 1 times what will get me to 2? Yeah, 1 times 2. And the number that you state is always going to be the coefficient of the element that you're trying to balance. In this case, I'm going to put a 2 here. And now, all we have to do is just change our numbers. But remember, when you add a coefficient to a compound, it has to be distributed. So I'm going to change the hydrogen numbers as well as the chlorine. I now have two hydrogens, which is what I wanted. And then how many chlorines do I have now? Well, I had one, but now I have two of them. One times two is two. And look at that. By just balancing the hydrogen, I actually balance the chlorine. That's the beauty of balancing. Sometimes you'll get a two for one deal. So we're good. Everything else is balanced. One iron's on both sides, one sulfur on both sides. So everything is good. The balanced equation is one FES plus two HCLs, which will yield one FeCl2 plus one H2S. And that's it. I hope this helped, guys. Let me know in the comments. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much. I really hope we're giving you great content here. And if you're, you know, in physics and math class and you need help with those, go check out our other videos. We got you guys. All right? As always, I hope you have a great day. Happy studying and good luck on all your tests, okay? You guys, this. See you later.